Oh, hell it's yeah. only three million. I'll give you a good deal. Oh, cool. I'll, I'll send a deposit today. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Jose, and today, well, today we're in the beautiful city, and I thought that I wanted to shoot something different, something informational that had a lot of value, and what's better than something on success and entrepreneurship? I mean, that's what every guy wants, right? Well, lucky for you guys, we actually know somebody in the city. We're gonna be meeting up with Ryan Sirhant, and if you've never heard of him before, he's pretty much like a, a real estate mogul. Million dollar listings, sell it like Sirhant, the dude's a boss. Today, we're gonna meet up with him in one of his million dollar listings and see what he has to say and what advice he can give you on how to be more successful. Let's hop into it. Ryan, what's Good up, man? How are you? Good, nice to finally meet you. Good to meet you. Awesome. You're real. I'm real, you. Man. And you look better in real life. I feel like I'm starstruck. And you're tall, like you're tall like me. Yeah. I'm gonna meet people and they're like down here. And I can talk Dude, to everybody people. tells me the same thing. Like yeah. I'm taller than what I look like on camera. Yeah. But let's let's address him. By the way, if you guys don't know who he is, which I doubt you don't, they probably don't. You think they don't? I think everyone knows. Who All right, just are. just tell them what, who you are and basically what you do. Sure. So my name is Ryan Serhant. Most people know me from Bravo. I have two TV shows on Bravo. One is called Million Dollar Listing New York, and the other is Sell It Like Serhant, which is a sales show. And I now have a YouTube channel. So YouTube.com/slash Ryan Serhant. Not as good as yours, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Different. Yeah, well, we always start somewhere, I think. Yeah. So I thought it would be cool if you could just come here and like give us some advice, pretty much. Okay. You know, you young advice. hustlers, sure. yeah, everybody needs advice. Yeah. You know, young hustlers are trying to grind it. How do you even start? You know, how do you get here selling sure. million dollar penthouses and stuff? Well, this one's $3 million. Oh, okay, cool. So Jump actually, this, <laughs> whatever. But this one is asking $3 million. It's a penthouse on top of my new condo project, The okay. Rowan. And if I didn't mention that, I'm a real estate broker in New York City. Between New York, Brooklyn, Long Island City, Hamptons, Miami, Los Angeles, a little bit of Chicago, a little bit of Dallas, yeah. as much as I can. But 10 years ago, actually yesterday was my 10 year anniversary in the business, September 15th, 2008. So I got into the business right when it kind of crashed. Correct. So it was the worst time ever, but at the same time, hindsight is 2020. And it was the best time for me to start because Correct. I had no money. I was figure out how to make real estate sales work or go home to Colorado and paint fence for the rest of my life. Well, I think that's a good example of showing that anybody can do it. You started at the worst time possible. Sure. Not knowing what you're doing. Yes. And now you're here. I had no idea what I was doing. So what do you think first helped you to start to, uh, to where you are right now? The first piece of advice I was given yeah. and that I will give to other people is my first apartment was a one bedroom that we converted to a three bedroom with two roommates. Okay. So I lived in part of the living room, yeah. one of my roommates lived in part of the kitchen, and in the other roommate who had like a real job, yeah. he had the bedroom. Yeah. And they were both paralegals and I came to the city initially to try to be an actor. Right? That's what I was going to do. I gave myself two years to see if I could make it. Flash forward, it didn't work out. But <laughs> my dad said, listen, if you're gonna do this on your own, you're gonna be your own like entrepreneur, try to be an actor, you have no boss, your paralegals are gonna wake up super early, go to bed super late, they're gonna work their ass off every day. You need to wake up before they do and go to bed after they do. That's because so you can't control how smart you are, you can't control a lot of things in life, but how hard you work isn't one of those things. So Absolutely. wake up early. Um, huge outdoor space, right? You used to be able to have a view of the water, but it's Brooklyn now, so everyone's building everywhere. Okay. And what's cool that's here is beautiful. this is my newest building, and you see that big white one right there that's really large? Yeah. That's also my building. That's 184 Kent Street, the Austin Nichols house. Yeah. The sell out there is hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Ooh. So Damn. when I first started, I would walk around Williamsburg with friends. There'd be really nothing much here. Correct. But I never could have anticipated that 10 years later, they'd be selling everything over here. All right, so the first tip, waking up early. I think yes. anybody can do that. What's the next step from there? The next step from there is today is Sunday. Correct. Right? You're here. Yeah. You're dressed in a suit. Correct. Right? I am here, kind of dressed in a suit. Looks just as good. <laughs> and every day is a work day. Okay? Absolutely. So a lot of people talk about like scary Sundays and a case of the Mondays and that working is really just Monday through Friday, nine to five, and then they want to play golf or hang out or go home on the weekends. Yeah. Like if you really want to hustle and make something for yourself, which is what I wanted to do Correct. when I first got into the sales business, every day is a work day. Absolutely. And you have to bring a little bit of your weekdays into your weekend and then a little bit of your weekend into your weekdays. And that's how you stay mentally sane. Okay. Sorry for the clickbait guys. So by now you probably don't know I'm not actually buying a $3 million penthouse, but I feel like I'm getting $3 million worth of advice here because this is this is invaluable and it's gonna help me in the long run. But at the end of the day, a dude can dream and my biggest dream right now is not that $3 million penthouse. I wanna be honest with you. 
It's none of that. It's for my companies and the content that I produce for you to be the best in the world, or at least the best that I can put out. I mean, bo boys, just look at this hold, this workability. This type of stuff, this type of product, you won't get from other brands, but it's exactly what you get when you use our products from Hudson and May. And the reason is because most other brands, they're cutting corners for that quick profit to buy all that expensive stuff and all those luxuries, but not for us. Like I said, at the bare bones, when I started this channel, the whole goal was to help dudes. We never in a million years thought we would be on top and producing some of the best products in the world. And now that we're here, we have the same mentality that we had when we had a thousand subscribers. Our goal, changing one man at a time, making sure they're the best version of themselves and they feel as confident as possible. And that's what I feel our brand Hudson & Main does. I think this brand is for the confident man or the man that wants to be confident. Because all of our grooming products are designed for the man for ultimate performance, to smell good, to look good, to feel great. For example, our matte pomade, one of my favorite products and the one that I'm currently using in my hair. Just look at all that natural hold and semi matte finish you end up with. All our products are designed from scratch. So this isn't any cookie cutter formulation and you won't find any other brand using our stuff. So everything we designed here in LA, made by hand by our chemists and we worked from the ground up and we went through samples and samples and samples until we ended on our three styling products that you can see right now on our website. But we made it even cooler. The coolest part is that even if you don't know what styling product you want, we have three, all three of them are great, but each one serves their purpose for a specific hair type. If you don't know which one works for you, click the link down below and take a quick questionnaire. There's only three questions, it's very easy, and see which product works for you and then buy it. I'm telling you, for the new year, you wanna start it off right. Start it off with one jar of one of our great products and see just how good you're gonna feel. And then from there, sign up to our monthly subscription. That way it gets delivered to your door every month and you don't have to worry about looking good. And even better for our international audience, you know we try to get you the best rates. And those rates you see are the rates that we're being charged by our suppliers. But not only did we did some hard negotiation, we're gonna cut into our profits even more and honestly, I don't care. I just want everybody in the world to be able to buy this and now we were able to lower our international shipping rates. Trust me guys, the more we sell, the bigger we get. I'm gonna try to get this to free shipping if we can at one point, but we can only do this with your support. So, if you guys wanna start the year off right and get yourself some sexy Hudson and Maine to look like a stud, click the link down below. Also use my discount code that will get you another 20%. It's pretty amazing. Back to the video. When you get to this level, yeah. Like these views, you're spending three million on a penthouse. How do you stay humble? You have to check your ego at the door. Okay. You have to leave your ego behind you. Like no matter what, there's always someone who's more successful than you are. Absolutely. Who's richer, smarter, better at everything. So you just have to do the best you possibly can and stay completely humble. Like for me, the minute I got on to Million Dollar List in New York, right? You know, that show is watched around the world by like 25 million people. Right. And it would have been easy for me to get a big head, become an asshole, just tell people no, no, no. But at the same time, I was so grateful and so humble about it. And I try to stay as down to earth as possible and still do stuff for free, still run around all over the place for anybody, no matter what. That it's really, he came really helped here me. And no time, by the way. Like, he didn't, he didn't have to be here. And he just, like, popped up. And you were busy. Like, you were doing something before this, right? Right. Yeah, I had showings right over here. And, and then I had showings like, right after. I yes. can tell this guy's super humble. Like, I just, I just met him. But, like, what he's saying, he's, he, like, what he says, he does. I think that's, that's very important. Yeah. So, like, listen, life is too short to be a dick. Absolutely. That's my tip number three. There you so go. <laughs> be nice. Be humble. And if you're the smartest person in the room, be grateful that God gave that to you. Yeah. And help other people, let them help you. That's how you push yourself forward in business Man, through awesome. other people. All right, so we got three amazing tips so far. Yeah. What else you got? Think of a college student, because most of, most of the people watching, you know, the 18 to 20 year olds, right, coming out of college. Sure. And a lot of them are eager, like they want to be successful now. Sure. What's the next step? I think one of the biggest issues I see from both high school, but also really college grads who want to come work for me, who want to come, they get into real estate or they get into sales, they want to make millions of dollars that first year, second year, is they have unrealistic expectations of like how they're going to live and what their earning capabilities are. And whether you go to grad school or not, like I didn't go to grad school, yeah. okay? I don't, I don't know what I would even go to grad school for. You have to treat your first three years out of school like your own personal grad school. So that's your Just structure, like everybody your else. discipline, that's when you're learning all those core values. Yeah, absolutely. Be prepared to make no money 
until your fourth year out of school. If you make good money before that, it's a bonus. Correct. Right? If you make real money and if you're able to afford a nice house, if you're cashing out, then that is a bonus and you are lucky. For everyone else out there, who I think is a lot of people, those first three years you spend learning. You spend learning. You spend actually spending money, yeah. right? Learning underneath other people, follow mentors, really treat it like grad school, and it's gonna help you stay happier. That's a great point, but I think the problem is that a lot of times you meet mentors or certain people that, let's say they, get, they, were, they are successful, sure. but they have horrible qualities. They're pricks, they're dicks, they're assholes, right? Yeah. How do you handle that? Tip five for me okay. is okay. you take the best and you leave the rest. Okay. So for those three years out of school, and if you're lucky, maybe it's one year, maybe it's two years, okay. maybe it's five years, right? Yeah. Work for people and follow people and shadow people that are where you want to be in the industry, whatever industry you're in, five, ten years from now, okay? okay? And all those bad qualities, you leave behind. Remember that you're trying to build your own best version of yourself. Like, there's no real estate broker like me in New York City. Absolutely. You know, I'm bouncing around doing so many different things. People always look at me kind of like this anomaly, but yeah. I knew what I was good at. I knew what I was bad at. And I had a couple mentors, sort of, when I first started. I took the best from what they were able to right. teach me, what I was able to kind of take from them. Yeah. And everything I didn't like, I left. So take the best, leave the rest, and then go create your own person to be as successful as you can. That's, that's amazing. Uh, being your own person, being unique, like you're saying, versus trying to mimic that one person and like make their success happen for your life. Yeah. I think what you're saying, it's perfect. Yeah, no, like I said, I think I, I learned a lot today. Good. Like, I knew I was. The man's a beast, real estate mogul. Um, but again, we truly appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Yeah, no problem. Um, anything else? Oh, thanks for coming. Okay. Like, I just have appointments. I know. This dude's a busy man, like I'm saying, but super humble, so I appreciate it. No problem. Do you want to buy this place? Oh, hell yeah. It's only $3 million. I'll give you a good deal. Cool. I'll, I'll send some of the deposit today. Okay, perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.